You're listening to OS on the BBC World Service. We were talking a little bit earlier on about um, Hong Kong. Um, of course, it's been another weekend of protests and we've seen criticism, not for the first time, of some of the tactics used by police. Rights groups have accused police in Hong Kong of using excessive force. This was after tear gas was fired into an enclosed subway station and officers posed as protesters before making arrests during an intense weekend of clashes. Well, we're going to speak to a journalist on the ground in the next few minutes. But first of all, we're going to speak to Kerry Allen, who is from BBC Monitoring, looking at how the Chinese media is reporting events. Um, Kerry, interesting to know, is it being reported at all? Not really, no. Um, I mean, the, uh, the, there's been this perception now since June when these protests became large scale that the police have been relatively peaceful and, and there have been the protesters or demonstrators have been, well, the language that was used originally was hooligans. Um, I mean, this has escalated to the point today that uh, the official broadcaster is calling them, what well, they're saying that this, this actions, the actions that they've seen from them is has colours of terrorism. So there's this very, very strong language used about the demonstrators. Um, the, the government's hand-picked footage that shows clashes between demonstrators and the police and people feel a lot of sympathy for the police so they've not seen this kind of you know this footage that we've seen of heavy-handed police all you know lot, lots and lots of them against protesters you know there might be very very few uh, people in mainland China are very much under the impression that there are very very few police to deal with what's going on now and uh, and so what I'm seeing instead a platform seen a Weibo which is like Facebook or Twitter um, the hashtag trending today um, I'm giving the Hong Kong police oil now to give someone oil it's like you give a car oil it basically it like kick starts it jump starts it and people say you know uh, add oil uh, at things like football matches like add oil so um, so what they're doing is they're basically saying i'm urging the hong kong police on and they've got loads and loads of ten, like thousands of people have taken pictures of themselves with placards showing their support for the hong kong police and it just shows the power of social media doesn't it in this day and age when uh, there's restrictions on the media and, and how a really clever bit of of a message from china does just get through Yes, uh, I mean, you know, this is the difficulty that, Hong, um, that China has one of the most tightly controlled media environments in the world. And for the last two months, they've really built up this dialogue that the protests that are taking place. I mean, we've seen very peaceful protests. We've also seen clashes as well. But that's all that people in mainland China, a fifth of the world's population, have seen. So, uh, yeah, they, they really do think that the police are really under strain and that they only have sympathy for them and support. And they're hoping that... China is going to send its own police, its own army, possibly, into Hong Kong, but it can't do that until it's classed as a crisis. So this language today we're seeing of uh, colours of terrorism, this basically, it, it puts the pressure even higher and suggests that it can't be that long now, really. Do we know how the Chinese government promote their line on social media? I mean, do they have bots, or is it, is it people, do, or is it just impossible to say? Well, first of all, there's censorship, so they cut out anything that they don't want people to see. But they also have what's known as the 50 cent party or 50 cent brigade and these are people who are paid 50 cents like a very very small amount of money by Chinese standards to post messages in favor of the government so you've got thousands of people they might even be poor students who think I can make a bit of money here um, just um, creating accounts and writing messages in line with the government and this happens a lot that certain things that the government wants to support and um, often where there's a lot of debate so if there's a trial policy in place the government media will say we want to gauge opinion on this and you'll just see thousands of comments coming in just very very quickly all of a sudden and the messages sometimes are very formal like you know I am extremely supportive of this uh, but you'll see the same phrases used again and again and that's how you can you can tell that somebody yeah like a troll um, they're a member of the 50 cent party. Kerry thank you for dropping by Kerry Allen from BBC Monitoring updating us on that.